The views expressed in this blog are hosted on my own website, are strictly personal and do not reflect the views of any organization. Hello and welcome friends once again to Straight Bat, my weekly video blog where as the title suggests, I comment with a straight bat. Now this week, the political headlines nationally have been dominated by Kaun Banega Congress Ka President, Congress Ka King Kaun, who will be the Congress President? Now I'm not going to get into the battle that's taking place today, we'll let that play out over the next few days, but I thought it might be a good point to rewind into the past to a famous election that will give you a sense of what the Congress party is all about. No, I'm not talking about the real famous election of 1939 when uh, Subhash Chandra Bose famously defeated uh, Mahatma Gandhi's uh, chosen candidate, Dr. Pattabhi uh, Sitaramaya, the Andhra leader. I am instead talking about another rather famous election. 1997, one that I witnessed and was an observer to when Sitaram Kesri, the octogenarian old man in a hurry as he was called, took on Sharad Pawar and Rajesh Pilot. It was an interesting time, a period in Indian politics of great uncertainty, a, a time of coalition governments. The BJP was slowly on the rise, the Congress was on the decline, and a declining Congress had supported a third front led government of H.T. Deva Gowda. Kesri was in his 80s, an octogenarian who had been thrust into the Congress presidency after the defeat of Narsimha Rao in 1996. He was someone who apparently started uh, his life as a bit of a bandwala, uh, old style Congress manager, backroom manager, a party treasurer for several years, became social welfare minister in the age of Mandal. Uh, and he would often be look rather lonely in his Purana Killa uh, residence. He was not a mass leader by any stretch of imagination. Instead, more often than not, instead of Netas, he would be surrounded, Kesriji, by his famous Pomeranian dogs. He liked those little puppies because he told me once, dogs, Rajdeepji, are more faithful than politicians. Uh, and he laughed while saying that. He had this very infectious laugh that he kept uh, uh, going to, chuckling all the time. Under the laugh was a canny politician, someone who knew the Congress party inside out. So let us come to that election uh, of uh, June 1997 when we found out just how canny Sitaram Kesri could be. As I said, he was being challenged in that president election by Sharad Pawar and Rajesh Pilot. So on the face of it, it appeared that Mr. Kesri was on the back foot because Mr. Pawar and Mr. Pilot were both seen to be far more formidable politicians. Sharad Pawar had been a four-time Maharashtra chief minister, had been union defense minister and had ample resources. Rajesh Pilot too had been a dynamic minister of internal security and was seen to be a young man in a hurry. Kesriji 80 years old, Pawar 57 and uh, Rajesh Pilot was 52 at the time. Most people had seen Sitaram Kesri's ascent in the first instance to Congress presidentship as a pure interim arrangement in 1996 uh, because as I said he was someone who had never won a Lok Sabha election, not a mass leader, someone with zero charisma and limited communication abilities. When you looked at him in his dhoti, kurta, Gandhi, topi, oversized spectacles, he looked almost like uh, a caricature of an R.K. Lakshman common man or the, the common man politician in a way. Uh, as I said, Pawar and Pilot had much more going for them, uh, it appeared. And both of them campaigned very aggressively in that election. Mr. Pawar was crisscrossing the country, so was uh, Rajesh Pilot at the time, while Mr. Kesri almost remained all the time in his Purana Killa residence sitting and writing on a piece of paper all the names uh, of potential uh, uh, rival, uh, potential people who could he could connect with, always on the phone. Uh, I remember meeting Mr. Kesri, in fact, one evening during this campaign and asking him why wasn't he outside, you know, uh, meeting all the delegates of the Congress party. 
ही सेड बेटा आपने कछुआ और खरगोश की कहानी तो सुनी होगी उस कहानी में बताइए कौन जीता एंड देन ही स्टार्टेड लाफिंग अगेन इट सीम्ड रादर एप्ट एनालॉजी केसरी वॉज प्रोजेक्टिंग हिम सेल्फ एज द कछुआ द टोटस एंड राजेश पायलट एंड शरद पवार वर दर्स हुआ गोइंग टू रन अवे इट अपियर्ड टू विक्ट्री और सो दे होप्ड I remember Rajesh Pilot telling me how the entire younger generation of the Congress was fully with him. Uh, Sharad Pawar, I travelled with him on a private plane when he was, I think, on his way to Pune uh, to watch him campaign on his home turf. Praful Patel, his man Friday, was accompanying him, and the mood on the flight was celebratory. It seemed they believed that the election was done and dusted. So long as Sonia Gandhi does not intervene and get involved in the election is free and fair. Pawar Sahib will win the election is what Praful Patel claimed and told me at the time as it turned out Sonia Gandhi did stay away from that election she was at the time neither seen nor heard she was a complete recluse in those years and yet when the final result came out Sitaram Kesri was way ahead of his rivals he got about 6227 votes Sharad Pawar got 882 pilot just around 350 so how did kesri ji manage to turn the tables on his better known rivals simple answer by keeping the state units of the congress leadership on his side remember it is the state leaders who control the congress list of delegates at election time in each state so you see many of these state leaders at the time be it janki ballab patnaik in odisha ashok gelot in rajasthan jitendra prasad in up preferred to have a weak congress leadership also others like pranam mukherjee and arjun singh at the center saw pawar and pilot as competition kesri was seen therefore as a pushover whom they could control it's a lesson i learned that day one of the many lessons i learned in politics or tracking politics was that your perceived weakness is often your biggest strength if you are not a mass leader then no one fears you if you have a strong base then you become a threat and becoming a threat in the congress is dangerous and risky in congress age is also not a factor you can be in your 80s as kesri ji was and you don't have to go to a markdarshak mandal because you can then claim abhi to main jawan hu that you can do in the congress party i also learned that whoever is in the chair in delhi controls the party especially controls the delegates purse strings congress in that sense is a classic ukta suraj party so the very fact that kesri had just months earlier as interim congress president brought down devagauda's government by withdrawing support in march of 1997 meant that he was seen to be a canny politician who had created a political crisis and given the congress hope that they could come back to power so ukta suraj syndrome interestingly less than a year after this famous victory that kesri had over pawar and pilot he was literally thrown out of the congress presidency and in his place emerged sonia gandhi in fact he was locked out of a room at the congress headquarters even while sonia gandhi was taking over in what will be described as little more than a bloodless coup the very cwc congress working committee that backed kesri against pawar and pilot in 1997 once sonia gandhi came in they all went towards sonia the likes of pranab mukherjee and arjun singh that i just mentioned remember therefore that the lesson is again clear in the congress parivar whoever else is in the contest nehru gandhi if they enter they remain the party's biggest brand i remember meeting therefore sitaram kesri ji a day or two later after he had been ousted from the presidency he was surrounded only by his dogs and no one else in typical delhi fashion when you are out of power kaha tha na mere maine beta kutte to netaon se wafadar hote hain this is what kesri ji reminded me 
on that day. I learned therefore the ultimate lesson in real politics not just of Congress or but any other party. There are no permanent friends or enemies, there are only permanent interests. Is the Congress of 2022 therefore any different from the Congress of 97-98 when again it was out of power? Will Who will be the Sitaram Kesri this time and who will play the role? that Sonia Gandhi eventually did. Think about it. That was the straight bat. Do of course uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more such videos. For now, stay well, stay safe. Jai Hind. Namaskar.